Dear friends, welcome to Bond with RK Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain classification of aromatic compounds and also I will explain about benzenoid aromatic hydrocarbons. Aromatic compounds are classified into homocyclic aromatic compounds and heterocyclic aromatic compounds. In case of homocyclic aromatic compounds, all the ring atoms are carbons. If you take ring atoms, all the ring atoms are carbon. In case of heterocyclic compounds, along with carbons, you can find some hetero atom. In case of uh, heterocyclic aromatic compounds, you have hetero atom such as uh, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur. Again, homocyclic compounds are classified into benzenoid homocyclic compounds and non-benzenoid homocyclic compounds. In benzenoid homocyclic compounds, you can find benzene ring. Benzenoid homocyclic compounds have at least one benzene ring. Some aromatic compounds do not have benzene ring, but they are aromatic. These aromatic compounds are called as non-benzenoid. There is no benzene ring. In case of non-benzenoid aromatic compounds, there is no benzene ring. But these are aromatic. Again, non-benzenoid aromatic compounds are classified into charged aromatic compounds. Anulines, azuline, fulvaline and fulvenes and uh, fullerenes and mesoionic compounds. So these are some non-benzenoid aromatic compounds. In this lesson, I will explain about, uh, I will explain benzenoid aromatic compounds. In, we know that in benzenoid aromatic compounds, we have at least one benzene ring. In benzenoid aromatic compounds are classified into say mono and uh, poly. In monocyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, you can find only single benzene ring. In polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, you can find two or more than two benzene rings. Because a simple example is for benzenoid aromatic compounds, the simple one is benzene. The resonance energy is 36 kilocalories for mole. And the two rings, it's a polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon. This one is naphthalene. The resonance energy is 61 kilocalories for mole. And anthracene, the resonance energy is 83 kilocalories for mole. And phenanthrene, the resonance energy is 91 kilocalories for mole. If you take the resonance energy per ring, this one is 61 by, it has two rings, 61 by 2. This one is 83 by 3 and 91 by 3. Per ring, what is the resonance energy? 36 by 1, it will be 36. It will be 30.5 and this one will be and uh, 27 point something and this one will be 30.33 like that. So per ring if you take what is the order the stability order is benzene is greater than naphthalene is greater than phenanthrene is greater than anthracene. Okay, this is the order of uh, stability of benzene, naphthalene, anthracene and uh, Phenanthrene. We know that stability is directly proportional to resonance energy per ring. Here we ha I have taken some monocyclic aromatic hydrocarbons or monocyclic arenes. In case of monocyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, you can find only one benzene ring or one phenyl group. Okay, these are some examples. Stoline. The phenyl ring has a CH3 group, phenol, aniline, 
benzoyl behyde estophenone benzoic acid benzo nitrile nitrobenzene xylene styrene ethyl benzoate okay all these are monocyclic aromatic hydrocarbons okay these are uh, these are hydrocarbons aromatic hydrocarbons which contain only one benzene ring we have polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons these are called as ph polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons if you take these compounds contain at least two benzene rings okay biphenyl is polycyclic hydrocarbon okay indine is not polycyclic it's a monocyclic and acenaphthalene it has two acenaphthene it has two benzene rings and uh, fluorine two phenylene three and uh, triphenylene it has a uh, four benzene rings the benzene rings may be attached with the single bond or sometimes fused two benzene rings will be fused or two benzene rings will be connected with the single bond if you if you observe any compound which has a benzene ring that compound should be aromatic irrespective of number of pi electrons so in this case you have two benzene rings it should be aromatic aromatic if you take acenaphthalene in this case this pi electron pi bond this pi bond this pi bond this pi bond and this pi bond 1 2 3 4 5 five pi bonds are in delocalization this pi bond is not participated in the delocalization this one is not counted so how many pi electrons are there 10 pi electrons are there so according to huckel's rule this one is aromatic even though it has a, how many pi bonds it has six pi bonds 12 pi electrons you have to count these five only these five only since these five pi bonds are participating are participating in the delocalization in case of acenaphthalene how many electrons are there how many pi electrons are in delocalization only 10 pi electrons acenaphthene acenaphthene it has two benzene rings that's why it is uh, aromatic and the fluorine this one also two benzene rings are connected by the single bond this one also aromatic and the phenylene if you take a phenylene it has a three benzene rings and the triphenylene here also three four benzene rings are fused and tetracene tetracene also four benzene rings are fused this one also aromatic chrysene here also four benzene rings are fused and the pyrene four benzene rings in case of pyrene this pi bond is not participated in the delocalization so how many electrons are participated in the delocalization 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so 14 pi electrons are participated in the delocalization even though it has uh, eight pi bonds only seven pi bonds are participated in the delocalization this one is not participated in the delocalization and pentacene it has five benzene rings and uh, perylene in this case five benzene rings are fused and uh, benzopyrene this is the pyrene okay, this is the pyrene this one is attached with one benzene ring so it is uh, named as benzopyrene and uh, benji benzoperylene okay, here 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 rings are fused so these are some examples of uh, benzenoid polycyclic benzenoid compounds cora anulene okay, this one is very interesting compound this one is uh, here in this case you can find 1 2 3 4 5 benzene rings the name of cora anulene 
it's the core plus angle a the benzene rings are fused in cyclic manner there is a fusing of benzene rings in cyclic manner that's why it is called as core annually it's aromatic but it's not planar generally planar compounds are aromatic this one is uh, not planar it has a bucky bowl shape bowl shape the shape of this molecule is bowl shape this is the shape of the molecule even though it is not planar the molecule is uh, aromatic in this case 20 pi electrons there is a delocalization of uh, 20 pi electrons since it has a benzene rings it is aromatic irrespective of number of pi electrons and the core annulin five member ring core is surrounded by five benzene rings that's why it is called as core annulin and it is also called as a five circuli here five benzene rings are fused in circular fashion that's why it is called as five circuli it is the smallest unit of uh, Buckminster fullerene. If you take Buckminster fullerene carbon 60, if you take the, it has pentagon units and the hexagon units. The pentagon units is attached with the five hexagon units. This is the smallest subunit of uh, Buckminster fullerene. Okay, this one is uh, uh, different from other uh, aromatic compound. This one is not uh, planar, but this one is aromatic. And uh, coronine, say coronine, in this case, uh, seven benzene rings are fused. Here, six benzene rings are fused with the um, middle. You can find another benzene ring. It is also called a super benzene. If you take coronin, you can find three complete benzene rings. You can find this one is one benzene ring and this one is one benzene ring. You can find three complete benzene rings and this one also one benzene ring. That's why it is called as a super benzene. And uh, in this case, six ortho and perifused benzene rings. So these are uh, six ortho and perifused benzene rings. And you can find three isolated benzene rings in one of the uh, resonance structures of coronin. And hexahelicene, this one, in this case, uh, six benzene rings are fused in uh, helical fashion. Six ortho condensed benzene rings arranged in non planar. This one also non planar because here the two benzene rings are very close. One should be below to the plane and one should be above to the plane. This one also non-planar, but uh, this one is aromatic. And also, this one is optically active. It can rotate plane polarizing light uh, due, to, due to asymmetric uh, axis. Not asymmetric center. This one uh, does not have asymmetric centers uh, but this one has asymmetric axis that's why this uh, hexahelicene is optically active and phenocenes because these are uh, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons these are family of graphite ribbons benzene rings are fused together in alternating pattern alternating pattern these benzene rings are fused Phenonthrene is a simple member of the family, phenocenes. The inner rings of phenocenes are more aromatic than that of benzene. This one is very important point. So if you take this one, this is the phenocene, phenonthrene. Here, there is an alternate uh, benzene rings. This is the alternation. Okay, in Pisin, you can find one, two, three, four, five benzene rings in alternation. And uh, Falminin, one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, seven phenocene, you can find seven benzene rings. So if you take uh, the middle benzene ring, this is a complete benzene ring. This one is more aromatic than benzene. 
this one also more aromatic than benzene and this one also more aromatic than benzene and if you take graphite in graphite you have uh, ben benzene units which is also polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons this one also graphite is also aromatic in next class i will explain about charged aromatic compounds thank you